Hi, my name is Aldo Colombiaris. Uh, we have collected 45 more setups and virtually no slide full and you're gonna trick me. The basic stuff is that I want to a minimum just because I want you to put and then I go into the explanation. So, magic. You see, Roberto, that I ask for all the time. <laughs> Please, it's on less than half. It doesn't really matter, okay? How many cards you have? Done? Yeah. Fantastic. Remember the card that falls on the number that two cards, one, two, you will remember the, remember the ten cards, okay? Don't stop me when you. Three, four, five, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, you have. And I have no idea where your card is. Think about your card, actually. I know that your card could be T H R E E, could be a four, F four, seven, S C V E N, could be an E, am I correct? Could be a nine, N I N E, Queen, Q U E E N. Clever, huh? Yes. They pay me for this thing. Watch. Isn't that. Genius <laughs> in this kind of routines. You, you can even do the trick with 53 cards, by the way, but you cut. A larger amount so that you don't have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By placing them in front of the of each card, up one, two, three, four. So I leave it face up, and you keep on doing amount of cards that you cut, you guessed it, and so on, and you stop. That's it. You don't have to do anything. Spelling the 52 values of the cards is exactly 52 letters. So that's it. So A C C E. And four, one, two, three, four, actually five, F I V E, six are three, five, eight, I think are five, E, um, I, G, M, G, H, and T, and nine are four uh, cards, ten are three, K, I, N, G. And you place it underneath, and <laughs> magically the card goes to the bottom. It's fantastic. It works automatically. Now, if you have 53 card deck, like you have a joker in the deck, you do exactly the same thing. At the end, the card will be selected one. Very easy, but so much strong, so strong. <laughs> Want to do some magic? Sure. Go ahead. No, no, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you've been a magician for today. Okay. Please spread the cards in front of me and ask me to take one card. Take a card. Beautiful. You do exactly the same with Roberta. Pick ask card, Roberta yeah. to pick a card. Beautiful. Show the card. Pick now, card. Place, the, place the deck on the table. Ask Roberta to place the card on top. Place the card on top, please. Cut the deck. And complete the deck. Now ask me to place the card on top. Place card on top, please. Yes. Now cut small, less than half, so the two cards are very well separated from each other. Beautiful. Complete the deck. Mm -hmm. Now you are the magician. Okay. Say the magic words. Come together. Come together. Beautiful. Beatles will be very happy for that. <laughs> My card was the eight of hearts, by the way. What's the name of your card? Three of spades. The three of spades. Eight of hearts. Now turn the, flip the deck over. Spread the deck on the table. And look for the two cards, eight of hearts and three of spades. Yes, come together. Thank you. No, thank you. You are a great <laughs> magician. Great magician. Come together by my Canadian friends, Jay Sankey and David Acker. This is probably the easiest trick contained in this series of uh, DVD. While the spectator shuffles, you look and you glimpse the bottom card of the deck. Many times the spectator shuffle in an overhand shuffle like this and you have a chance to glimpse the bottom cards. In, in, in the event you are not able to glimpse the bottom card while it shuffles, you simply spread the deck face up on the table and you say where well, the cards are, are, are shuffled, as you may see. You don't need to glimpse the bottom card. You can even glimpse the top card. It, as you will see, it doesn't any matter. Let's say that the glimpse card is the Eight of Hearts. The spectator, acting like the magician, fans the cards in front of you. You take one card, 
the other spectators takes another card, and then you invite the, the magician, spectator, the magician, for one day to ask the first spectator to place his or her card on top, let's say the king of clubs, and when <laughs> he cuts the deck, obviously the glimpse card goes on directly on top of the selected card. And then he, I ask him to invite me to place my card on top, and I don't show my card, of course. I don't show my card. I look at it. In this case, it's the five of diamonds, but I don't say, I don't say anything. I just look at it. And I place it on top, and I say to separate the cards in a better way, uh, cut just a small packet and like this. So first I say the name of my card. I say, by the way, my selected card was the eight of hearts. And you say the name of the card that you glimpsed at the beginning of the trick was the name of your card, the king of clubs say come together and when you spread the cards obviously the king of hearts and the eight of the king of uh, clubs and the eight of hearts are together it's so simple as i told you but i think it's a very good trick <laughs> It's about time to do a 4 ace trick. Why not? Uh, yes. 4 aces. Where's the other one? And also, I'm going to take some card. Like this. Watch. In different cards, it doesn't really matter, okay? And the 4 aces. Please, cut the packet. Beautiful. One more time, Robin, to cut the packet. Fantastic. Oh, okay. We shuffle again like this, and we shuffle in another different way, so that the aces are very well separated. No, no, no question. One, 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 one more time like this. Watch. Okay. Beautiful. One more time. You can cut the packet, please, Joe. Cut the packet one more time. Yes, and uh, we can shuffle again, completely at random. Look. No question about that. Okay. The cards are very well separated. Watch. Shuffled and cut. One on the table, one underneath, one on the table, one underneath, one on the table, one underneath. It is called the Eliminator. The Eliminator. I love this. Only four cards left. And nevertheless, all these shuffle and cuts, mm. these are the four aces. The Magic Lesson by my friend Roy Walton. Roy is another genius regarding these tricks. I used the four aces in the performance before. If you want, you can use four selected cards. It doesn't really matter. It's exactly the same. Four aces and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards. You may remove uh, any cards. It doesn't matter. You remember the fourth card from the top. In this case, the ace of hearts. The eight of hearts. Fourth card from the top. Okay? And of course, it doesn't really matter which card. You place the four aces of the four selected card on top. The spectator can cut the packet as long as he wants. And you can give the packet a, a series of Charlier Shuffle, which it looks fantastic in a small packet of cards. And you take some cards from the top. It doesn't really matter how many cards you take. You push with your fingers cards from the bottom and you place them on the top. And I repeat, it doesn't really matter how many cards you take. Some cards from the top of the left-hand packet go underneath the right-hand cards. And then from the bottom go to the top and top to the bottom. You don't need to know how many cards you take. And you don't need to know how many times you do. It, just, it repeats the action of a single cut, basically. And then you do a reverse pharaoh, which is out jogging every other card starting from the second. You place the third card below, squared with the first one, the fourth card below, with a squared aligned, let's say, with the, the second one, and so on, back and forth, zigzag, as I said. One card goes in the zag, and one card goes in the zig. You remove the out jog cards, and you place them on top. It is very important. And you can cut, again, as many times as you want, or you can repeat the, the Chalier Shuffle. Once again, you repeat the reverse pharaoh, you give, in, in this fashion, a lot of shuffles, so it looks great at the end. Then you place the out cards once again on top. 
Now you spread the cards in front of you and you look where is the eight of hearts and you cut it to the bottom like this. Simple cut and the eight of hearts that you glimpsed, it was four from the top, it goes to the bottom. And you start placing the first card on the table and then below and then underneath the table underneath and so on. And at the end, hopefully, you will have, one more time, the four aces. <laughs> This time is very important that you shuffle the cards from the very beginning.